let's reflect on my first three donations on my project because this may help you to get an idea of who might be your first three donations on your project. My very first donation is my business partner, Thomas George. We've worked together for years online. He initially hired me for coaching. I hired him for coaching. He hired me for coaching on teaching. I hired him for coaching on music. We've worked together and collaborated. We met in person, even though he's from the UK and I'm from the US. I talk to him in our weekly partner calls I have at jerrybanfield.com slash partners. And I asked for help and he made the very first donation to the project. The second donation was another donation from another one of my business partners. Both of these business partners are people I've helped out a lot. The second one is one I'm currently employing and paying each week to help me out. The uh, two donations have something in common. These are people I've helped a lot and I've given a lot to already. Now that doesn't mean everyone I've given a lot to and helped a lot is going to be willing to give back and that's okay. But I'm very grateful those very first two donations were people I've worked with. Then the third donation is from my sister, huge donations. And what I've reflected on in considering my sister's response versus my brother's response. My sister likes and enjoys generous giving. That's what she does. That's what she likes to do. And my brother, at the same time, has a very strict and regimented way he goes about his giving. He likes to give to a very certain charity and have his donation matched. And he feels that it's objectionable that I should ask for money for to help with my student loans. Now, he says if I became destitute, he would give to me. He also, however, gave me some very valuable feedback about one question on my project. I answered all these questions on my project and I greatly shortened the answer based on his feedback because he got triggered off reading this comment down here about already donating enough to charity. And I uh, talked to my wife, Laura, about this and she said that it's you want to make sure to communicate what you're trying to say here but do it in a way that doesn't trigger people off as much. In the initial way I wrote this, I had a long drawn out response of a specific case of where people donated to Haiti $500 million to the Red Cross. And the Red Cross, according to NPR, spent hundreds of millions of dollars of that, was lost in administrative fees. And it looks like very little got actually accomplished from $500 million in donations. Basically, 130,000 people went to seminars showing how to fix their own homes up, got some temporary shelters and relief assistance. For $500 million, that's pretty terrible. That is something like three or $4,000 a person. And if people had simply given Haitians three or $4,000 a person, to each individual Haitian, I imagine a lot of those Haitians could have built their own permanent homes or at least worked together and built a ton of permanent homes for that money. But instead, I went on and on about a specific case of waste and my brother, even though he didn't donate, helped me to write this a little bit shorter to make my point and say, yes, if you already donate to other charities and causes, that's good. It can be even, you might even feel better donating to things in person and to people you already know. And sometimes when you donate to a cause, there's so much money that's raised, it's hard to spend it. So I made that point a lot quicker. I deleted over half of this response. So even though my brother did not donate, I am, he got some really good feedback out of him. Now, looking at these donations also makes another thing very clear. These donations are a function of the relationship I have with a person and a function of the person's own self-identity, who they think they are. My sister sees herself as a person who generates donors, gives generously, is very grateful for what she has and is available to help out with that. And she makes a donation on a level that she thinks represents herself. Same thing with the Thomas and the other guy I work with. That is a function of them. Therefore, there's a lot of this that's impersonal. What people give has, you could say, a strong correlation to their own ego. 
this means that when people donate or don't donate, it's nothing really personal against my project, which is nice. Because five years ago, I asked my brother to sign up on my Patreon account, and I got really mad at him that he wouldn't give me $5 a month when my business was dying. I got really mad at him. And he had some principle in his head that that violated, and he just would not do it. And this time when my brother said, no, he's not gonna donate, to, even though he paid off, helped his wife pay off her student loans and he has no student loans himself, even though he's got a PhD, he has no student loans himself. He's got lots of money in the bank. He won't give a dollar in my project. I'm grateful that this time I'm not mad at him because I understand that's his current, that the same reason that my sister gave a huge donation is the same reason my brother did not. It's both a function of their own world, their own ego. And therefore, as my responsibility as a project creator, as a campaign creator, is to simply to reach out and allow others to give what they want to. And to allow others to simply be themselves as a part of my campaign, which is likely so far to include lots of rejections. Lots of people saying, no, this isn't for me, or no, thank you, or whatever people say. And to realize it's nothing personal. My sister's donation is nothing personal any more than my brother's rejection is nothing personal. The donations from my business partners are nothing personal either. It's the same kind of generosity they would have with someone else in a similar spot. And the people who haven't donated, it speaks more about their life and the way they think than whatever I've asked. For example, I have a good friend. I asked him to donate and he said, well, I'm in the same spot and we're looking at having even less money in the future and, and therefore I'm not going to donate anything today. And again, I'm grateful I wasn't mad because I totally understand his lack of a donation is the same reason that my sister dropped such a generous donation. It's the same thing. It, it, the interaction with my campaign is a function of how it's processed through his world. And therefore, all is up to me is to simply invite people to participate and trust, set up everything on my end to effectively interface with their world. And then accept that really it has nothing to do with me. Once I set everything up, once I think of every way to make the project to process successfully with everyone's world, to share my vision for the project with whoever's reading it, once I do that, the results are out of my hands. Whoever makes a big donation, whoever doesn't, it really doesn't matter. And in fact, it's a good opportunity for me to love whoever I've asked, regardless of what they do. I don't love my sister any more for giving a big donation. I don't love my brother any less for not donating. My brother, I if he asked the same thing, I'd be happy to help him out because that's a function of my own reality. The same as my sister asked something, I'd be happy to help her out. That's a function of my own reality. It's not. It really doesn't have anything to do with them. And lots of people simply won't respond and just ignore the message or will take a quick look at it and not do anything about it. That's a function of their reality too. They're too busy or awkward about money or don't know how to say no. That's okay too. It's my responsibility to ask. It's not my responsibility to dictate to others how they respond. These are some of the most challenging things I think for having a campaign on GoFundMe like this. So I hope sharing these things is useful for you to navigate to me a huge growth opportunity in having a GoFundMe campaign and to maintain and even use your GoFundMe campaign as a way to build relationships with the people in your life today.